is a traditional Belgian ale. Aged and blended Lambic is called Gez. Creek is Lambic fermented with cherries. Lambic is traditionally served on draft or van te vat. Gez and Creek are aged in the bottle served in a wine basket and poured with expert care so as not to disturb the sediment in the bottle. be described by the special countryside outside of Brussels where it is made. Traditional, rustic, and refreshing. Site of the world's first Brewers Guild, the grand capital of Brussels has just one remaining traditional Lambic brewer, Nostalgic Cantillon. the century, Cantillon Brasserie has barely changed in nearly 100 years. Here beer is brewed the way it was for thousands of years, fermented by wild yeasts in the open air. Anywhere else in the world, this treatment could produce vinegar but the indigenous wild yeasts of Belgium create a tart but pleasant ale, aided by years of maturation in oak casks. The brewers are so careful not to interfere with this magical process that not a speck of dust or cobweb are disturbed. Lambic is an ale made from 60% malted barley and 40% raw wheat. Aged hops add no bitterness but help to protect the beer. Grains are milled and steeped in the mash tun where sugars are extracted. Wort is now boiled in kettles heated by steam for three to four hours. The liquid is then cooled. And here, the true magic of Lambic takes place. Through these 
open shutters, wild yeast from the Belgian countryside seed the young beer. In 1985, the original roof was replaced, but the new tiles were laid over the original ones, so as not to disturb the microorganisms which contribute to the unique flavor of Lambic. The next morning, the wort is transferred to aged oak casks, or pipes, where the yeast undergo spontaneous fermentation, turning the sugars into alcohol. Here the beer ages for one to three years. Cherries may be added to produce creek, raspberries for framboise, or grapes, creating vinaigron. Young and old lambic is artfully blended, then bottled to produce gez. Crisp and bubbly like sparkling wine, the world has no equal to Lambic. After the Second War, only in Brussels, Brussels uh, more than 50 girls, more than 50, 30 breweries and 20 blenders. Just, just in, in, in just Brus in Brussels and, uh, and and the other uh, five. Today the, the, the area of Brussels is not 19 communes. Yes. That that counts everyone 50, in the whole range. 50 different girls. And since uh, begin 80, since since more than 10 years, we are we are the last one in Brussels. In Brussels, yes. Rosé de Gambinus, it's raspberry and cherry. Because if you take raspberry and if we blend raspberry with lambic, because we blend always with lambic for the, the because we need sugar for the second fermentation, you don't have a, a huge color. Okay? So uh, this one is not the raspberry. Eh? So we added cherry to give a little bit more, more color. <laughs> That's amazing. It's extremely tart. Uh, it's not real complex, but again, a very refreshing cherry beer, really refreshing. With Drifontaine, no Drifontaine at Mordebelle, I think we are uh, both the last to try to use the real scarlet cherry. Those and when the season is bad, it's, impossi it's uh, impossible to find this time. And those are local to Brussels, scarlet? I know there's a suburb. No, no, in scarlet you have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we found the fruit out, out, out uh, of the city. Yeah. That same taste, a much drier finish than the other ones, but a world classic nonetheless. How often do you brew in a year now? Uh, last season, 1,000 litres, but normally we will increase this season maybe 1,100. So is that 12 times a year? Uh, last season, 15. 15. 15, and this one maybe 16 or 17. <laughs> yeah, because in fact, with, with one brewing, after after two years, two, three years in the cask, uh, we, when we fill the cask, uh, we, we have a little bit more than... When we pump the wort on the cooling tank, we have 7,500 liters. During the night, uh, we have an evaporation of two or three hundred liters, so we, we, we fill the cask with a little bit more than 7,000, and when we bottle it, uh, we have only 5,000, 5,500, uh, no more. Oh, so you lose, we lose during, during, during two or three years, we lose a lot of 
it's much well, better. Well, with, uh, with, with the evaporation. Oh. Yeah. And for this reason, this beer is very, uh, very expensive. Not not the price, but the the fabrication. Especially the way you still do it. You, you haven't taken any shortcuts like others no. have. No, you, you no it's, it's, it's for, for this reason, this this type of, of beer dis disappears or disappears of the market. We are today three three or four breweries who produce uh, uh, real than big. We're at uh, the Cantillon Brewery in Brussels, the last existing traditional brewer of Lambic in the great city of Brussels. The brewery was started by Jean-Paul Cantillon in 1937, and the brewery has not changed one iota since. Oh, beautiful, dry, like a fine, Young wine. Soreness got me right at the end there. But a marvelous drink. And thank God that Jean Paul is still brewing it in the traditional methods. The Cantillon Brewery is also a museum dedicated to Goethe, a blend of one, two, and three year old Lambic. Lambic brewing is unique to Belgium and the region surrounding Brussels, known as the Seine Valley. It is here in Piatenland, where the wild yeasts reside, and where today only a few breweries still exist. Biersel has two of them, Van der Velden and Drie Fontenen de Cam. Biersel is actually Flemish, for bear. Following the signs to Old Berso, we enjoyed the glorious countryside immortalized in the paintings of the Bruegels, portraying a rural landscape where the consumption of rough ale was the center of rustic country life. than a century old and serves Draught Lambic from the Vandervelden Brewery next door. extremely refreshing especially after last night uh, this is bringing me back to my feet it's only eight months old but it's starting to gain complexity already uh, very low carbonation very easy to drink and we're the youngest people here and everybody's drinking this this is what they're drinking and I think we're learning why try Lambic
are next to the Van der Velden Brewery drinking Van der Velden Blended Goose. A wonderful sour aroma, somewhat drier and bitter than others. Beautifully balanced taste. Good lambic flavors there. Again, the slightly drier, an excellent beer. Gesundheit. You need to drink one, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, Did I look like this before? No, this, this, this is, this is number You four. need one, my friend. Yeah. I would not, I would not I lie to you. Really, you should. You should I'm have one. I have one. I have one. I think you should. You will throw the other. You will throw the other. <laughs> After drinking real lumbic. How do you feel now, Art? 100% better. <laughs> Terrific. Great. That's what I need. <laughs> This is Old Birso Lambic, and uh, if you read the literature, they uh, warn about the Lambic. Oh, it's sour, it's straight Lambic, unblended, unsweetened. And yes, the nose definitely gives you that warning. It smells like old socks. And yet, when you drink it, it's magically beautiful. The sourness is back there, but it doesn't dominate. It's very refreshing, uh, low carbonation, it's fond de vat, and um, reminds me of good cheese. It tastes a lot better than it smells. Cheers. The result of one week, I do <laughs> One week? Okay, before and after winter, yeah. That's a brew. That's the brewing kettle. The, the, uh -huh. yeah. the boiling kettle. Yeast comes in. And mm -hmm. You don't have to be up close to the, to the ceiling. It can be anywhere in the open air. Anywhere. Yeah. So you open the doors and. Yes. Yeah. So, so the, uh, all, all, all the yeast is in the building as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no better chance to craft. No? Why? It's too strong. Oh. Ger what, German hops or? German hops and Yugoslavia. Huh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> how, how old are the hops two, you use? Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Like One year, two years. Probably SARS. All the SARS. Power Tower. Yeah. That's all good. So no flavor, just just um, to keep the beer, right? Mm -hmm. Preservative, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. only. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep the flavor. Good combination. Well, he said it may, maybe only one year old. Yeah, but if you keep it out long enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the BMW brewed. Uh, I could smell it. Mm -hmm. Last week. You smell it? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Uh, brew that sweet. Uh. Well, this is last week. Yes. So, a couple more, a couple more days? Well, yeah. for After a week, we close it, but not good. Uh. Excellent. The best that we've had. Oh, oh it's magnifique. Oh, <laughs> it's wonderful. It's magnifique. The best since we've been here, yes. And you, you only get it here? No. Yeah. Founded in 1882, Van der Velden is the first brewery in Beersel. A second brewery is being built at the Drie Fontenen restaurant. Known for its food, and it's specially blended Gus Lambic by Master Blender Armand.
And we have uh, built a small traditional lambic brewery in the buildings of Armand. And there we will start next weekend with the water trials to see if everything is uh, uh, tight and um, if, if steam, uh, compressor, um, hydraulic system, electronics and so are working well. And then in two weeks we will start to make the first lambic uh, word uh, there. But before it will be uh, a goose, it will take certainly three, four more years before you can taste that goose uh, here. That lambic that will be sooner. That will be um, or next yes next time normally there will be some lambic already, and also a traditional Belgian beer because we like much the traditional Belgian beers, and I have a lot of uh, books about that, more than 400 books about Belgian beers. And now I'm reading how to make a very exceptional and very good Beersel beer that will be on the market um, beginning of next year. How did you learn to, to blend and to uh, brew Lambeck? How did you learn? Um, I'm from that uh, region, and my father already did uh, write about Lambic and we had a good lambic cellar at home, uh, so um, my grandparents uh, they drink lambic, my uh, over grandparents, so I think uh, we have a little bit of the real taste in our genes. Is, uh, normally lambic is not blended or until geuze. it is geuze, yeah. but the geuze is, is blended and, and that's only a few geuze blenders, there are as far as I know uh, uh, three, uh, that is Hansen's, uh, Armand de Belder and me, that are the three only uh, geuze blenders. Um, 50 years ago it was totally different, there were maybe 100 uh, geuze blenders, so it, it is uh, an um, uh, it totally uh, disappeared, but um, it is a very, very old profession in the Middle Ages. Um, uh, then the, the brewer was a profession um, like a baker or, or, or like a miller. And uh, the farmers came to the brewer with their own raw materials. 
and they took away the spent grains okay. and they took away the beer and that that's still um, in this profession of uh, uh, goes uh, blender you still can bring your raw materials to the brewer um, let brew according to your own specifications and take away the, the word so it's a very old uh, profession what you're doing Oh, you know, it's also beautiful cinnamon. You see how clear the beer is? Yeah, yeah. So from my side, I'm sure this is a beautiful fermentation. But you see the sediment is flowing, floating, yeah, it's very flowing. easy. So that needs a lot of time. That's why. So if I so live for one year more, it will be even nice and it will just not flowing and floating. And so this is here just to, into the, to serve it in the house, so not for selling it outside. That's for uh, in the restaurant, yes. we have goes from ninety. We have goes from ninety three. We have different tastes and uh, different tastes in age time. So that we changed just the cork. Therefore, we had just wine corks, uh, like other goes also. But from last year, we used this champagne corks to make it alembic, which is with has a nice acidity. It's very very oh, difficult. Yeah, I believe it. And even in the brewing process, it's not easy as that. Be sure about that. And you need a lot of technique, but uh, the most important thing is that you have the incubation of the of the wild yeast, and, uh, and each uh, brewery has its own uh, way of doing it. Yeah, way yeah. of doing it, and uh, also it's each own flora. Uh, so flora. that's why you you don't have a different continents of those wild yeast. So the, the composition is different. God has blessed this area well. <laughs> we have different fermentations in um, in the lambic uh, in lambic beers, and um, each uh, fermentation product um, is the raw material for the next fermentation. So it's uh, quite uh, complex. But the the very special thing about this is that uh, Bretonomyces, it's the little beast that lives in our area, Bretonomyces Carls, uh, Ber, uh, sorry, Bretonomyces Lambicus and Bretonomyces Bruxellensis and um, th they have the ability to cut the, the long chains of um, starch into simple sugars and Lambic is the only beer in the world where the specific gravity is lower than that of water. Normally the specific gravity of a beer is 1.013, 1 1.010, um, depending. Now for Lambic it is less than 1, so it's 0 0.99, etc. And another uh, special effect of this Bretonomyces is the ability of Bretonomyces to build esters out of alcohols and um, uh, acids organic acids. Now there is a lot of um, uh, lactic acid in Lambic and there is some um, acetic acid, a low amount but some uh, acetic acid in, uh, in this beer and there is a lot of alcohol. Now if you alcohol and um, lactic acid or alcohol and acetic acid under influence of Bretonomyces uh, gives uh, esters and they are very uh, special and fruity, uh, good tasting, and this is the um, uh, ethyl acetate and ethyl lactate. And so, because of this effect, the acidity is at the refermentation in the bottle a little diminuing because acidity or the acids or comp or uh, bound with the alcohols and you have the esters and less acids that is an an, um, an evolution in the in the taste but that takes a long time to uh, before you have that and that's only a small tip of the knowledge of lambic because the more you know about it the more mysteries uh, there yes. are about this beer. yes and so my father is uh, 81 now and uh, has always this beautiful taste, oh, marvelous, and we will taste in different uh, barrels, and that's some, one of those holy moments of, of my life. So both together, yeah. but we don't have a vocabulary. We don't have words for that. Let's say that, that the eyes are more important contact, are more important contact, and uh, on his face I can say how to blend. It's 
that's really that's that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. We don't have words because we're not uh, a professional tasting, uh, and we just do the same uh, movements as, as our parents learned us. So with it, that's tradition. You learn, you don't have an explanation for that.